Hey guys, it's David with Ultimate Survival Tips coming to you live from SHOT Show in Las Vegas. This is the largest firearms and outdoor exposition in the world, so I'm really excited to be here. We're going to take a look at some cool stuff over the next couple of days and be releasing a lot of videos to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go in and get started. The Ontario Knife Company booth with Paul Scheider. Paul, thanks being with me. Thanks, David. Paul's done some videos on YouTube, and he's he's the owner of Hedgehog. Right. Hedgehog Leather Works. All right, dude. So you do a couple of things. You've, yep. you've got your own knife. Right. Right? So. Yep, we've got the Blackbird SK5 with Ontario. And then, you know, my primary business, of course, is Hedgehog Leather Works, doing a number of different high-end sheets for popular bushcraft slash survival knife. Awesome. In this video, why don't we take a look at the SK-5? Yeah, that'd be great. So go ahead um, and talk about that. And Yeah, I've got one right here. Uh, this is a really beat up one. This is what it looks like used and abused with lots of love and well, resharpening. How long have you been using this one? Oh, a couple years. Okay. You know, yeah. So this is, I mean, the guys like to see that stuff. You know, yeah. what's it look like after you beat on it Yeah, this while? thing's been batoned, uh, you know, splitting through wood, carving endlessly. Uh, it's been through the ringer. First thing I noticed about your blade is mm -hmm. the simplicity to it. Here. So yeah, I'm actually drawn to simplicity um, in anything, in design, in art, in anything like that. And what I've found is that the time I've spent in the woods, the, the tools I have that are simple are the ones that are the most reliable, especially under pressure when it really counts. So uh, with that in mind, I designed the Blackbird to embody all the proven elements of a tool and skip anything that is uncomfortable or gimmicky or gadgety. Nice. Um, specifically, the biggest thing it is, is a comfortable grip. Um, and that's one of the first things that people notice when they pick up the knife is, man, it feels great in my hand. Um, and that's true whether you have big heavy gloves on um, or you're going bare hand. And this is a knife that it's not going to create hot spots because there is no sharp, abrupt surface on this handle. Um, you can put this in your hand and carve for hours and on end, which is a realistic requirement in a survival situation. Along those lines, um, I intentionally went with no jimping on the back edge for the thumb. Um, that's a personal preference, and some people love it, some people don't. Um, to me, in my opinion, it's one more hot spot. Uh, yeah, I'm a proponent of a full wrap grip for any kind of heavy carving. The only time I put my thumb up on the back of the blade is for fine detailed work. You know, those are some of the main features of it. The steel is uh, 154 cm, so it's a high grade stainless. Not the absolute easiest to sharpen, uh, but it, it does sharpen up very well. It holds an edge very well. And then you get the corrosion resistance with that. The tip is a spear point tip, and the very end of it is in the center line of the blade. Uh, that comes in useful for boring and drilling operations. Maybe you're you know, uh, carving out the notch for the spindle in your fireboard, um, the knife will stay symmetrical and that makes it easy instead of fanning out because if you have a tip that's off center line, it's gonna yeah. do that. Um, the base of it is flat. That's really nice for mounting to a spear in the instance where you would carve a shelf into a sapling and mount it on there so that it sits right up against it and then you can, you know, lash paracord or something else around the outside. Um, but all in all, uh, it's an intuitive knife to use. It's easy, it's comfortable, and uh, in the hands of a skilled user, you can do just about anything with it. Nice. Are there any other versions of this knife? There are. Uh, this year, uh, one of the things we found, you know, the knife's been out a couple of years now, yep. and it's had some time to prove itself in the bushcraft slash survival community, but it's also creeped over into the military markets, and a lot of the guys have been buying them that are deploying and doing, you know, SEER training and all kinds of stuff like that. And of course, one of their chief complaints has been, uh, I love the knife, but I want a non-reflective finish. Right. So this year we've uh, put out uh, the Blackbird SK5 Noir, which is just simply a powder coated version, all the same specs, materials, quality, and everything else. So I really like the knives, but I'm really, really interested in your sheath. Yes. Because that's your passion. That's right. And I've got one. And I love it. And these guys really need to know about it. So let's come back and do another video okay. about the sheath. That sounds okay. great. All right, man. Well, thanks for being with me. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the Show More tab under this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out UltimateSurvivalTips.com. While you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag 
Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side and remember, be prepared because you never know.